Let's go. Hello, Blogineers. Today, we're going to unbox another Wumpa box. This is a monthly subscription box that teaches you about countries around the world. And if this looks fun to you, you can purchase this at the link in the description. Okay, open it. Okay. Um, I'll just go how it usually is. Cause, okay. So, first off, this country is France. Um, it's in the continent of Europe. The population is 67 million. The official language is Fr French. The capital city is Paris. And the currency is Euro. And of course, inside of it, they also tell you facts. So, in this book, they show you the facts about the places, like the Eiffel Tower. Um, let's see. Let's see. They also t tell you about the culture. And... Um, there's an activity. It, there's not usually an activity in these, but I guess in Paris there is. And over here um, is the map of Paris. Paris. I mean, France. Oh, yeah, Paris, France. So, this one, specific one is about Paris and France. Okay. Let's see. And the food here, they always have recipes. Um, it's about strawberry crispy, so cree, cree pit. Huh? Oh. But, although, they do have... Okay, so I think it's just strawberry with... I think it's dessert, strawberry with... Bread. I don't know. Okay. You can put it in the back one. No, but they don't tell you. I don't think that's because this flame of feedback is me. No, it's fine. Okay. This is the hard part about the stuff. Putting back the map. This is not it. That's not it. This. Nope, not that one. Nope. There. Okay. And um, there's a keychain. There's always one in every single wampum box. And this one's up at the um, France keychain. And of course, there's always a book, but this one. It says France, and it says pigment of imagination. Okay, on the back it says bonjour. My trip to the famous Lavre Museum started off great. I got to see an exhibit on one of my favorite types of art, comics. Then my trip got even better. Before I knew what was happening, I was thrown into an adventure with some very unlikely pals from the galleries of the Lavre to the banks of the river scene and all the way to the top of the Eiffel Tower. Welcome to Paris, France. Okay. And here. This is here. Um over here, they have a piece of the Eiffel Tower, a paintbrush, and of course, paints, oh, markers, and of course, paints. So you'll be coloring and painting. Um, there's also, of course, stickers. There's some in every single um, wampum box, and there's what? That is a macaron, my favorite thing in paint. Okay. 
okay and there's uh there's a pointillism painting that that's the first activity and there's this paper yeah some paper some thing that you can paint on oh and this probably fits in i'll probably be painting yeah that'll be painted and there's also a french comic book that you'll be making for the second one and there's some pages probably for the comic books and here's some stencils that you can use for the comic book okay and that's all i guess in this box they don't tell you what's coming up from the next box so either they forgot about it or or that's this is the last box but anyway uh, let's just continue and get to our first activity and go. okay so the first activity that we're gonna do is the french comic book you can see the in the beginning there's a page about a womble and there's a page about womble running and there's a, there's a talking bubble thing okay oh and read the fun facts you know, there's, no in, in that book i know yeah there's two fun facts right? like, okay you... and there's some fun facts i'll say one more time because i was talking about it. okay so there's some fun facts okay speech speech balloons and thought bubbles are how most comic characters talk. The most fa uh, the famous French comic, Asterix, was one of the first comics to use different shapes of letters, like wavy or sharp, to represent different moods and emotions. And there's a picture of it. Okay, uh, second fact is, have you, uh, did you know, uh, um, okay. Have you ever heard of Les Scruffs? Okay. Anybody know what this word is? That top word, that name in the first sentence. Uh, that first sentence that says, have you ever heard of black <laughs> If you do, great for you, you know French. Anyway, have you ever heard of Les Scratch of this? Uh, no, maybe you've heard of them by their English name, the Smurfs. Okay, that's way better. I knew that I meant something about the Smurfs. The Smurfs comic was originally written in French by artist Pierre Colifold in 1958. Okay, and on the page, they tell you what you'll need for this activity. Okay, how to make so there are five steps. Okay. First, you'll need to invent a comic character. Will you be the main character in your story? How about your goldfish? Will your character be a hero, scientist, and explorer? How? Oh, I see. Hmm. Step number two, you'll need a good story. It's your character tracking down a piece of missing from Ray, competing in the tour of the forest, saving 
Who can stay half company? Okay. Got it. I already read all the rules. So, basically, step one, you're supposed to make a character. Um, and step in your head, of course, the camera can't see my brain, so you don't know what I'm thinking. And step number two, you're basically supposed to get an exciting story together and then step number three you write it down on here step number four you just trace whatever you want with these stencils and after that step number five you just finish it up am i right about that And step number five, you're supposed to color in all. So that's basically what I'm going to be doing. So let's put on time lapse. Go. Okay, so here are the st stencils. So there's circles on this it's side. It's a croissant. What? It's a croissant. No, but... Oh, that, oh okay, sorry. It's so on. there's... Okay, so there's circles on this side, as you can see my fingers. There's this bu building where you can see my pinky nail. Or oh, just this building here. There's a croissant, a bike. That's the France Womple. Street light, the Eiffel Tower, and a uh, mirror. I mean, a uh, uh, fray. Okay, over here are the lead. Over here are the letters and some more circles and stuff, and some numbers and some exclamation marks, question marks, dollar signs, and other stuff. Over here are all the are all the um talking ex the talking bubbles. That's what I like to call them. Okay. And yeah, that's basically all. So it'll take a while. And this comic book, this is the front, this is the back, and it'll take a while. So let's go on time off. Okay, so just now I finished. I didn't do the cover yet since I don't know what to put in the cover. And it will take a while. Um, and yeah, you guys can pause the video uh, if since I'm going to show my cover. Okay, so that's my comic if you read it and pause the video but i'm gonna read it anyway since some words are so teeny teeny tiny that the camera can't catch it okay this is calmer he has a chocolate croissant since he likes chocolate and by the way if you if you want to see more of calmer the real calmer you can um click up uh, wait, oh, you can go on Instagram and uh, type Camu the Cow, and he'll be right there. He has a lot of followers and viewers. Um, well, he's the first cow to ever own Insta. I'm to ever have an Instagram. So, okay. Um, and it's a huge croissant. I say the croissant is the size of my head. Uh, and he lost it. He first searched the Eiffel Tower, but it was not there. Um, and then if you saw the pausing video, you probably saw Camu 
and a tray of croissant bits. And no, the croissant isn't isn't fully eaten yet since it's a huge croissant. And then he found Wobble. I was gonna trace it with this Wobble, but instead, I didn't have enough room. The box wasn't that big. So I just drew a pretty good Wobble with uh, just looking by this. No, I sh okay. And then he, uh, he found Wobble eating the croissant and then after that, he asked Wobble if he can have it back, and, well, he had it back, and now the size of the croissant was about the size of this, uh, this bit all the way up in here, and the width of this bit, so that's how much croissant he found it. Um, and as you can see, that little teeny tiny box is the end one, the uh, the the is super big and I made the end super small. And yeah, that's the comic. And of course, there's hundreds of pages in here. Well, not hundreds. There's more like sixty-eight. Don't ask me where I got that number from. But yeah, there's a lot of pages still in here, and we have more activity. So next activity. Go. We're back, and as you can see, Waffle's doing this, this kind of yoga. Okay. Okay, so the last one we're doing is pointillism painting. Okay. Did you know it took French artist George Serrant two full years to paint the 10 foot wide painting of a Sunday afternoon on the island of Lake Legrand pictured inside. He used only tiny dots of paint, a technique called pointillism. Okay. From far away, you can see that this is a painting of people hanging out by a lake. Now look close at the entire painting is made up of tiny dots of color. That's why it's called pointillism. So that first, this one, and how it talked about that painting. And now you can see it here. Okay. And tells, okay. Oh, there's only five steps. Okay. Um, paint your masterpiece. Lay out the craft paper. Okay. Oh, it's pretty tiny. Pretty tiny. Then, so you won't make a mess, and place your canvas on top. Dip one of your paints. So these are the paints that they give you. Dip one of the paint swabs. Okay, so basically you just put it in this way. Okay. So, I know how to do this. So, get your paintbrush, your paint swabs, what they call it. I use my big or small, which one? I use the small. Okay, so I'll dip it in the red.
Okay. This might take a while, so let's put you guys on timer. Okay, guys, so, um, I'm done doing all the dots. It needs to dry. Eiffel Tower and the background. Um, so, we're gonna take a break out. We'll come back once, um, they're done dry. And go. Okay, so now... Most of it is dry, just need to be very careful. Okay, so now we're gonna put sticky squares. Don't put it on. Wait, let me go wash my hands. So now, that looks pretty cool, actually. No, let's put it there, 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 down here.
Should I tell you this? Well, it'll be the shortest time lapse ever.
okay and I'm done. So here is the painting. It took a while. Um, but it looks good. And um that is it for the painting. I want to do not get paint on yourself. So there's the painting. But I do have to make Here we go. Finished painting. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Now final thoughts. I am done. What? Okay, so that is it for the Paris France Wumpel box. Um, it was pretty cool. I like this the best. Um, I'll have to restick it later. But yeah, this one, this painting is probably the best out of the two. I really like it. Um, and I have to say, it looks way better than this. Can you see the Eiffel Tower in this picture? Not really. So I think I like mine more than this picture. No offense, Wumpel Box Company, but yeah. Um, and that's it. Once again, if this looks fun to you, you can purchase this at the link in the description. Bye bye, and I hope this isn't the last box of Wumpel Box. Bye. Ready, look here. One, two, three, cheese.